everyone. I thought I'd show you some of the old parts stripped out of my car's cooling system. Um, I decided to just go overhaul the whole thing. These were what I ripped out and kept from the shop. Uh, this way I can give you a few pointers on how to notice something might be going bad. Uh, this is the old radiator. Um, if you notice down here, it's got oil around this particular one, so that means that was most likely starting to fail there. Uh, some of the gray sludge, we believe, came from the fact that this might have been cracked on the inside. This is where it cools the oil from the transmission. This is the, uh, old inlet valve, the very very coolant in, into the radiator. And it's also can, broken up around this edge. It's rusted, it, the whole radiator's just messed up, and there's just weird stuff in there. As you can see. And here's the old water pump. I believe the reason it started pouring water out is because if you look at the old seal, it's just pretty much had it. These are the paper seals they normally put on. This time around, I went with a Felpro metal and rubber gasket seal like thing. Uh, basically, the outside of it's metal and on the inside it's lined with rubber. The flow of the water will help keep it nice and hydrated, so it should last the life of the pump. Also, see if I can get this to... Oi. Try and listen to this. That pretty much signs the pump's dead. One way you can find out is, uh, take your belt off of here, and just spin it. And if you hear it... Signs your pump's going bad. Um, <clears throat> here's the old radiator cap I had in there. Whole thing's completely frozen shut, so it wouldn't even be able to release into the reservoir. Um, like I said, I bought every part new to have the whole cooling system revamped. Uh, you look in here, it's got, let's see if I can get it up close. On the walls here, it's got some kind of white residue. Uh, this is an original from the car. The new one I bought, it's more spiraled in than it is bladed. It also helps push more water from what I can tell. Allowing it to cool better because it's able to cycle the water through the engine block and through the radiator a lot quicker. I also bought a set of uh, fans for it, as well as new hoses. The only thing I did not buy, which I probably should have thought of, is a set of clamps to hold the hoses on. And yeah, that's the old equipment. I will show you the new equipment next. Hey YouTube, here's the second half of my video on the cooling system on my car. Amanda, I will point this camera at you. Keep it up. They watch your YouTube videos. Yeah, they do. Hi, this is my sister. Get a good shot of what Chopper did to my foot. <laughs> Anyways. I have done alternator, now the entire cooling system, battery, had an oil change, but I'll show you everything I've replaced on this for the engine cooling. I have gotten a brand new reservoir, there's a water pump, and uh, what I have in there is a Felpro seal, it's metal on the outside, rubber on the inside. Because water is always flowing through it, the rubber seal should last a lot longer than the paper ones. Um, brand new lines all around. Brand new fan set, which you can tell by the cute little stickers here. Uh, reservoir ran me 25, water pump 30, this Velpro seal ran me 10 bucks. I also got a brand new radiator cap, which was 10. Uh, See if I can get this in there. Okay, brand new radiator. That was about a hundred bucks. As well as new, new hoses, which are hot. Sorry, people, I just drove this car. Those ran me about ten to fifteen a piece. Um, and clamps. One, I took this to my buddy shop. His name is Al. It's family-owned shop. Uh, worked with AJ to do all the work on here. Um, so total for this whole cooling system ran me about 600, 
uh, 300 for labor. Oh. It, the reason I wound up just deciding to hold, do the whole cooling system is, as you'll, as I said earlier in the video, there was weird stuff growing inside the radiator, which means I don't think the radiator was getting hot enough to kill whatever it was, which means it wasn't getting flow throughout the radiator. Um, should have bought a new pulley wheel, but I didn't think about it at the time. This old one works perfect, so I'm just going to leave it be. <clears throat> uh, so we flushed out everything. Uh, when we had it all dismantled, hooked up a high-pressure hose in the block area over here, where the inlet is. And uh, put a full blast to try and clear out anything that was in there. All together, uh, it cools a lot better now. The car stays about a quarter up on the temp gauge. It still blows nice. Hot heat during the winter, <clears throat> and that's about all there is to it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, and say hello to the little doggy. Hello, everyone. Uh, today's video is able to be done because of the workmanship of the shop I took my car to. When I say we uh, worked on it. I basically mean that, oh wait, sorry, cleaning out my keyboard. When I say we worked on it, it's because I located the parts and I bought them. Now, the shop would have done a marvelous job of doing it. They managed to find a rear end for my blazer one time, which I couldn't even find. Uh, they got it for me for a really good price, and they installed it. Unfortunately, my blazer was destroyed a week or two later due to hitting black ice. Uh... No one was hurt, but the the truck and the truck my truck hit were both totaled in the wreck. But here's a funny part. On New Circle Road in Lexington, they did not salt the road, and the truck that my blazer hit, hit that same exact patch of black ice. And there were wrecks all up and down that road that night. I'm not blaming anyone. I just hope that as a result of this, they have started salting the roads a lot sooner if they have an inkling of whether they're going bad. But let's get back to the main point. The shop is. Oh, I'll pull up a map. Let's see. Um. No. Um, Al's Auto Repair, North Main Street, Nicholasville, Kentucky. <clears throat> Here's a picture of the place. I would drive by there and take a picture, but I've been up all night at work. I wanted to make sure I got a video out today since I missed last week's. Um, let's see, it is right here on North Main Street here in Nicholasville, Kentucky. As you can see, here's the address. They did a marvelous job on the complete repair of the cooling system. They didn't know what it really needed because I didn't bring it into them. But I knew that basically I filled the car up with water. And I live... Oh, hey, see, follow this. This is where I live, which is not that far from Al's shop. Just that short, very short drive, after I, f my car was empty on coolant, everything to keep the engine cool, I filled it completely with water. As soon as I got to his shop, which took me five minutes, completely empty. Nothing left. Nothing at all. It was that bad, so I wanted to make sure everything I bought, I bought everything make sure it was all good, brand new. Uh, like I said, it's my car. I spent quite a bit of money on it. Help my sis got it off my sister. Uh, gave her what money I could, which was I'm not gonna say because I don't know if she wants me to say it or not. But basically, she was able to use it to put a down payment on another car, a much much newer model, which is a lot more reliable for her kind of commute. Um, but yeah, the radiator, the whole cooling system was pretty much empty. Um, they charged me about 300 labor. 
so that was actually pretty good. A lot of other places that I used to go try to go to when we first moved up here, it was ridiculous on prices. Al has always been very kind, very nice to me. He will check things out, give me a guess on what it could be, and then he'd get in, in the, one of the bays and make sure it's that before he does any actual work on it. Uh, but now he has he's starting to charge for like computer diagnostics, which I do not blame him because the computer system he uses to run checks on computers on the cars was expensive and people would just pull in and then get it diagnosed and then go to the auto parts store and get the work done themselves. You ask me if they're doing that, they might as well buy a code reader off Amazon for 40 bucks. Works just as well. And people like that taking advantage of them just ain't right. But yeah, he will do his best to get the work done as cheaply but as best as possible. Um, he will let you uh, supply the parts but he will not warranty the work, well the parts, because he did not buy them. Um, beyond that, it's a family owned and operated business. It is See if I can get satellite view here. Uh, it is a family owned and operated business. His whole family runs it. His wife takes care of the bills and stuff for the company. Company, please excuse. Well, I don't have a camera, so you didn't see it in quotations. But his wife takes care of the book work. While him and his kids and his family all take care of the work. Uh, it's as you can see here, the three-bay garage. Hopefully, this sees my mouse. Um, and they got all kinds of cars through there. They do all kinds of work. They'll even replace engines and transmissions. Um, as far as I know, they do not do the rebuilds on those, just because they don't really have the room and they don't. They don't got the space really. But they do know people that can do the work, and they can. They've always recommended good people to me. Um, the reason I'm, one of the reasons I'm mentioning them in the video is because of how good a work they do. And now I'm going to get off here and get over to the order ID. Uh, not order ID, the orders. Here are, is the parts I bought. As I should have called it a coolant tank. Since I do mostly computers, I call it a reservoir. That is my bad. And I apologize for that. But as you can see, uh, I got it for 25 bucks. Came with the little cap and the hose. I also bought fans because, come to find out, from what we could tell, because the it's electronic. So as the car was getting hotter, the span fans were spinning faster to try and cool it down, and it just wound up burning them out. Um, I got perfectly molded hoses for both the upper and lower, and I was off on my price on the video. Uh, the upper ran me 1423. The upper ran me 1611. New radiator cap because if you're replacing all of it, you might as well make sure you got a radiator cap that can relieve the pressure into the coolant tank uh, to help relieve pressure that builds up from the engine heating up, heat and coolant, all that. AC Delco Professional Water Pump ran me 2978. It comes with a paper gasket, but as I said, I. I don't really trust the paper gasket. The best I can tell what happened is the radiator got clogged somehow and the water pump kept pushing water on through he, with the fact the thermostat was open. It was kept trying to push it through and I think it built up so much pressure and the fact it was old and had a paper seal on it, paper seal was worn out. I think it just built up so much pressure it literally blew the seal out because uh, as you saw earlier in the video the paper seal was just shot. It was um, not even mostly there and that was taken off without anything else getting done to it beyond taking off the uh, flywheel that they have on there. As I said I also bought a Felpro gasket. Pulled up here so you can see what it actually looks like. Um, outside is made of metal so it won't blow out like the paper seal did and the inside is rubber for a perfect seal all the way around. Uh, I just I don't trust paper gaskets much anymore. Uh, here's the Spectre Premium Radiator, uh, 8733. I'm going to do something real quick and show you 
a price difference on AutoZone.com. Whoops, gotta be careful of that. Search. Not Amazon. Ah, here we are. Uh, they probably have it under diff. Ah, here we are. Alternate part number C270. When I looked this up originally, it was, uh, was about $200 on this site. I am sorry I cannot prove it now. I should have done this video earlier. Um, that is, once again, my fault. Work has been murder on me. I am trying to, well, do my job right, get it done right. But, yeah. Boing. Um, spent eighty three sixty two on that. Everything I ordered was with Prime Shipping. I got it in two days. Um, and that was all the parts. Let's see. I will now show you the spreadsheet I have. Uh, projects, Midori. Yes, I have named my car. Jay's calls his Nissan uh, Nissi, and Linus refers to his as Lambo. Parts list. All this is stored on my server. Right now, the reason I'm on the backup section of it is because I had my brother needed me to, uh, needed to borrow a. 3 terabyte hard drive because it's 2 2 terabyte hard drive RAID array which was RAID 0 failed so he's currently borrowing that um yeah all together oh and I had to buy coolant well I didn't have to the shop would have provided it but I didn't they were already doing so much work for me I didn't want to well I didn't want to have them worry about it I didn't want to take away from their own stock if I didn't have to uh so this is all the pricing and all that, where I got everything. AutoZone coolant, got an AutoZone. Labor was $303. Oh, I still got the receipt, which I plan on scanning into the system. Complete price altogether ran me $642.25. That includes parts, labor, everything. Um, if I wouldn't have gotten the coolant, see, total would have been about 34 less. <laughs> so about 303 for final price of parts without coolant labor was 303 bucks once again I can't really beat it because of how much I spent on well everything but yeah as you can see I've been doing a lot of work on the car show you one more thing on here and then I'll call it a day oh I have also installed brand new stereo system ignore all the stuff brand new stereo uh, boss audio doubled in 89 bucks it only has three star reviews and I don't understand why people give it such low review yes one of the comments said that it had a issue with shutting off not coming back on but I figure out how to get it back on the silver dial you just press it in like a power button and it powered it back up uh, the reason it locked down like that is because it can also play DVDs, but to do so, you gotta have the parking brake on. And while I was fiddling with it, I forgot I had some recorded footage on the SD card I had in it. And, um, I kinda screwed up. So, yeah, I had to figure out how to... I was gonna pull the battery as last resort, let it reset, but didn't have to. Anyways, yeah, I've got a new stereo installed and a bunch of other stuff. I will continue to post updates on the car overhaul as well as where you can buy the parts for set overhaul sections. I am currently doing the back seats, cleaning up the lenses, and replacing the lights. So, I hope you have enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you... Well, if you like the video, if you like seeing my videos, please, bleh, please press like on the video. Also, if you do not mind, please subscribe to my channel. And I will keep posting videos. My be I'll do my best to get it once a week. I saw y'all did not like the video format for the alternate replacement, so I have one went ahead and stopped posting those videos. There were seven clips in total. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two down, cut out what's not needed, and then merge it all together. Do my video editing. 
So I'm just editing this video. Uh, I have no clue how long this has been recording. So I'll just finish saying this. If you dislike the video, please press dislike. But I beg you, please, pretty please, explain in the comments why you disliked the video. I have noticed dislikes on my videos, and yet no comments on why you dislike it. That means I cannot fix whatever you do not like on my videos. Remember, I am just starting out. I am an amateur at this. I have never really edited videos before beyond making home movies for like Christmas time and stuff. So, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. No, I do not have sponsors. In fact, I guess you could say I'm currently sponsoring Al's Auto Repair because of how much I talked about him. But he's one of the best people I know that's a mechanic here in the city. I've n never had issues out of him. Ever. Uh. Heck, one time he, ha he managed to help me with a brake problem and didn't really charge anything for it. I mean, he charged a little bit because he needs the money to stay in business, but it was so little, about 10 15 bucks, that's it. You can't, if he can figure it out and get it done cheap, get it done right, as long as it's right, he'll do it as cheaply as possible. Uh, so if you live here in Kentucky in the Nicholasville Lexington area and you get your car down here uh, take the Al's Auto Repair at 400 North Main Street here in Nicholasville Kentucky uh, he can do quotes over the phone on if you think you know what's wrong he can look up the parts as well as price to labor and let you know how much it'll be about about how much it'll be to get the work done um, the best way to get to his shop is to take zoom out is to take 27 on down oh wait where is it ah right here where you see McDonald's turn on to Edgewood drive it down to Main Street take a left onto Main Street and then you can pull right in very easily wait keep scrolling very easily to his shop Sometimes traffic is really bad, so if you come the other way, you're going to be stuck in this middle lane for quite a while. Especially since he's got so much business now that, well, his lot right here is always full. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I just sponsored someone, and he didn't even pay, which I don't care about because he does such excellent work. I'll see y'all on the next video, and I really, really hope I did not make this part that long. Have a good night, y'all.